What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so we won our seventh badge. Yeah, and that's pretty much what it is, guys. We won our seventh badge, and it looks like to us that we have to go to the Space Center because apparently Team Magma is up to no good. Look at that. Was I playing? No, I wasn't playing. Team Magma is up to no good. Dang. Okay, so... It is finally time for us to go straight to the space center and deal with them because, well, they've been uh, they've been uh, causing us a little bit of issue and all that stuff. As you guys can see, they're all over the place, and well, we're gonna be battling every single one of them just so we can get some more experience points and get to the next situation, which would be probably the legendary Pokemon. So as you guys can see, here is Team Magma Grunt wanted to come out with a Numel. And, well, let's go with Vesuvius, the fully evolved form. There we go. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and speed this up a little. Earthquake attack would work. Look at that. And, yes, we are sneaky in our treachery. There we go. Okay, so let's go right here, taking on this chick. And, well, as promised, we've come for the Rocket Fuel. Hmm. Okay. Rocket Fuel. Now, why would they Why would they want to use the Rocket Fuel in order to blow up a, a volcano? That's just the question. Oh my god, alrighty, so let's go right ahead and go with the rocks, uh, rock, uh, rock, what you call it? Uh, I can't even pronounce that right. Alright, Dulcim, let's go. Now, there is one little thing that I did change on Dulcim, and is, that is that I did teach it confusion, because eventually it's gonna be learning, uh, what was it called? Uh, psychic Attack, and we do have two power, power up moves for this Pokemon right here. Alrighty, so everybody's scared, and I know that things are getting are a little haywire right now, but the rocket launched safely. That's success launch number 10. Wow. He, he yeah, he's thinking about uh, something else, and well, the rocket fuel, uh, the rocket fuel of the space center has in storage. That's what we were after. We mean to take every last bit of it. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. Now, I want to know what the difference between rocket fuel and regular fuel is. If so, if you guys got uh, an idea, please let me know. And, well, there we go. We have defeated another gentleman right here. Let's go right ahead and take on this guy right here. Give me, uh, give me a chance to go in there. Come on, homie. Our leader said no one, but no one gets past me. Okay, alright. So, here we go. Taking on another Team Magma Grunt. What exactly does he have? He has three Pokemon, so let's go ahead and speed this up. Earthquake attack for the win. Numel is coming out. Let's go with Joust. So he might think that we're going for Team uh, Aqua right here, and he's coming out with a Mighty Anna. Let's go with Dulcim. And go with a high jump kick for the win. Sage grows to level 43 and is learning Slam. I'm going to say no to that because I already taught it uh, Strength just in case. And, well... Yeah, he, he, he can't do anything about this. And wow, it's a three on one. What's wrong with you? You're out, no, or you're out number three to one, but you still want to take us on, yes. A reckless go-getter, are you? Okay, I'll go first. Now, if you guys remember, uh, what was it called? Uh, if you guys remember in Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, there comes a point where you're taking on quadruplets all at the same time. Yeah, quadruplets all at the same time, and it's, uh, it's always so funny to play them because you know, if you have like a single attack where, you know, it, it hits every single one of these Pokemon, you automatically win. Most of these Pokemon that these quadruplets have, they're just like, what, a level 15 or ish? Or, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, they, it would be easy to just defeat these guys. So, here we go. Rock Slide again, and we win. And just like that, we win against three guys. Okay, so, who's next? Are you part of them? Why would Team Magma want to steal our rocket fuel in the first place? Because they are like that. I don't even know. Alright, so the next battle right here is going to be an interesting one. I do want to use Sage for this situation. So, let's go right ahead and see what's going on. Here's Steven. He's like, Team Magma, what's the point of stealing the rocket fuel? Maxie's going to be like, foo foo foo. Since you're so curious, you deserve an explanation. We're not going to jettison the entire load into Mount Chimney. The Groudon is with Groudon gone. We have no need for a slag heap of mountain. So we'll use the jet fuel or the uh, the fuel's power to make the volcano erupt. It will be savage. Oh wow, he gets pushed around. Wow, are you serious? All right, Draven, are you going to help me? Let's go into battle together. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so we got we got to choose three Pokemon. So let's go with Sage, Hadouken, and actually, you know what? Scratch that. 
Scratch that. They are probably going to be using their fire type Pokemon. So let's go with these guys right here. Hadouken. And confirm. I love this song. I really do. It is a it is an absolute great song when it comes to holy crap he's got some power, powerful Pokemon oh god yeah this song is an absolute banger when it comes to bad guys especially in Heart Gold or Mega Ruby and Alpha Zephyr and look at this they're coming out with both Mightyena and Camera and here we're gonna be going with Joust and Matang Matang alrighty let's go alrighty Clear body is not working, or it's working. So here we go with a uh, surf attack right here. That should take care of camera up. And that is it. Look at that. Oh my god, camera up. Defeated. Okay, so we get some points. Joust gets some points right here. He gets a, to level 41. Matang, obviously, you know, getting some experience points himself. So we're kind of helping these Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and speed this up because now we got to switch up our Pokemon. Let's go with Sage of the Halo, and here comes a Swagger, and well, let's go with the Leaf Blade, defeat this Mightyena. Yeah, buddy. Oh my god. There you go. Okay, so, that's another uh, Pokemon down. That's two against, uh, well, that's two for us, zero for uh, our boy right here. And Matang has grown out or got out, gotten out of his uh, confusion, and here he comes out with a Metal Claw, defeating the Mightyena. And well, here comes one more Pokemon. I'm assuming the Pokemon or the trainer that we're defeating is a uh, you know the is the executive. So let's go with a Strength Attack onto Crobat since it is the more powerful Pokemon here. And yes, Matang is going to be confused, obviously because it is a Psychic type Pokemon. So right now. Yeah, we're not doing anything. Let's go with a strength attack. And, well, we're all confused right here. Let's go with the screech attack. Yep, we defeated him. Okay, so here comes Camerupt. And this could be a problem. So let's go back to Joust. And, well, let's see what happens right here. Okay, so here comes a wing attack. That was supposed to be for Sage of the Halo. Rough skin affects this guy. Here comes a psychic attack, and that one was meant for the Crobat. And oh my god, Earthquake attack really hits us. And there goes Joust. Oh my god. And Matang is affected too. So that's a two in one business right there. Holy buckets. Okay, so let's see. We gotta we gotta switch out our Pokemon right here. Alright, time to go for Hadouken. Time to give, uh, you know, Steven Stone a little bit of a preview of what he's going to get later on in this whole walkthrough. So we got Agron and Hadouken right here. And, well, Hadouken's uh, Intimidate is going to affect everybody right here. So let's go for a Dragon Claw onto this guy right here. So here we go. We're the faster Pokemon looking at you. And there we go. Camerupt has been defeated. Yes, sir. Okay. And, well see what's next right here okay so everybody's getting points here comes a confuse ray and that right there happens to be on my on my Pokemon which is annoying and a thunder attack hits Golbat and there you go for the win alrighty okay okay and there we go we have defeated both team aqua's lead or team magma's leader maxi and uh, well Tabitha right here and well let's see let's see what happens right here we failed to make the volcano erupt. We failed to control Groudon after we uh, can awaken it. Is our goal to expand the land misguided? If if we team Magma are wrong, then we might then we might team uh, or then might team Aqua's goal to expand the sea also be equally misguided? Yes, it is. All right, we will give up the fuel. There appear there there appear to be more important matters that I must examine. Well, Steven is uh, thankful as always. He's gonna be like, whew, that was too tense. Draven, thank you. I have something to, to give you as a thanks for your support. Please come see me at my home after this. Oh yes, I don't live in Rustboro City. I live right here in this island. Yeah, we kind of knew that already. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, talk to this guy. And yeah, he's not gonna give us anything. So let's go right ahead and find Steven Stone and hopefully he gives us something pretty awesome like, you know, I don't know, a Pokemon or an HM or something like that. Okay, so we are feeling great, fantastic. 
Let's get the heck out of here, and let's go ahead and find Steven Stone. Steven Stone, of course, lives right at the corner of the, of the Pokemon Center. And all you gotta do is go right here. And, well, there he is. He finds you, and he's gonna be like, Draven, as you can see, there's not much here, but this is my home. Thank you for all you've done. This is my token of appreciation. It's the Hidden Machine Dive. No need to be shy. You've earned this HM. And there you go, guys. We got ourselves the HMOA Dive. While you're using Surf, you can uh, you should notice uh, dark patches of the water. Use Dive if you uh, if you come to a deep water like it. You'll drop into the seafloor. When you want to come back up, use Dive again. In some places, it won't be possible for you to surface, though. Huh. It is true. So, now that we got Dive, there might be a side quest or two that I might want to do. Because, uh, yeah, I kind of want to get my Pokemon stronger. And uh, that should probably be a good idea because, well, yeah. Eventually, we're going to be taking on the 8th Gym Leader, the Pokemon League, and then, you know, Steven himself. So, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for uh, watching the walkthroughs and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.